Fisk Terrace. You'd be forgiven for mistaking this leafy enclave for any small town or middle class suburb with its handsome historic architecture, big lawns, and white picket fences. But this isn't middle America. We're in Brooklyn, New York. Fisk Terrace is a small neighborhood encompassing a couple hundred single-family houses. The name comes from oil merchant George B. Fisk, one of several developers who built up the area more than a century ago. You pass by dense brick apartment buildings before entering the district, but once inside, the tree-lined streets reveal bungalows with deep front porches and big revival-style houses that have driveways and backyards. I spoke with real estate agent Lee Wallace of Brown Harris Stevens to find out what makes this little neighborhood so exceptional. What does Fisk Terrace have that people are specifically looking for these days? Space, yards, backyards, uh, entire lots, you know, 360 degrees of light and air and accessible by the Q train and feeling like you're a suburb in the city all the way. Property Shark, the real estate data firm, recently pegged Fisk Terrace as the second most expensive neighborhood in Brooklyn, with a median home price of $1.65 million, behind buzzing waterfront district Dumbo. For some context, in the third quarter of this year, Fisk Terrace outpriced postcard-perfect Brooklyn Heights, and even Manhattan's Times Square. Because the neighborhood is so small, homes rarely come on the market, and only a handful are sold each year, sometimes none at all. That can mean price fluctuations from year to year, but values are definitely rising. In 2020, Fisk Terrace ranked as the sixth priciest neighborhood in Brooklyn with a median sale price of $1.2 million. The average prices have, have risen, you know, year to date this year over last by 18%. And that's all over uh, Brooklyn and some parts of Manhattan. A house on the corner of Wellington Court and East 17th Street epitomizes the lifestyle that draws people to the neighborhood. The Colonial Revival House, asking $4.7 million, dates to 1905 and was constructed for one of the area's most prolific developers, Henry W. Ackerson. The gated property spreads out over rolling lawns shaded by mature trees. This isn't your average 20-foot wide New York townhouse. There's a sweeping grand staircase in the foyer and an open plan double living room. The house is also bathed in sunlight all day long from rows and rows of casement windows. There's even a carriage house with a two-car garage and a lofted studio upstairs. For all its suburban feel, Fisk Terrace has the walkability and connectivity of a metropolitan neighborhood, with cafes and supermarkets just beyond the border, and the express Q train taking residents to midtown Manhattan in about 35 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more like it, subscribe to my YouTube channel, drop a comment below to let us know what kinds of properties and amenities you'd like to see next.